Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick look at the latest build of Windows 10 which was released only two days after the other build which was on Tuesday. So we've gone up from 15.058 Tuesday to 15.060 yesterday, uh, Thursday the March 16th and uh, so it was released a little, a little late in the afternoon. So um, first um, there's a lot of um, kind of inside news at Microsoft that seems to state that one of the major reasons why we had a build so fast uh, is mostly because a, there were some insiders that could not upgrade to 15.058. So they looked at, in the, at a bug that was preventing this, fixed it, and released 15.060 mostly because of that to make sure that every insider can download a build of the latest uh, Windows 10 Insider Preview. So, of course, I'm going to say it right away because some of you are watching this for new features. No new features in this build. Bug fixes is really what's happening right now. And uh, basically, uh, download, once again, and install went well. A little long, I found, but, um, you know, it works fantastically well. Uh, you know, it's it's the vaults of the uh, of the the watermark. It's there. It's not there. It's there. It's not there. Uh, so this time around, build fifteen oh six zero, watermark is back. And when we look at the Windows version, well, there's a expiration date again, fifteenth of May. So it's really kind of weird, you know. But this should be thing of the past probably next week as Still, pretty much all indications seems to say that next week we're getting the real deal, the creator's update. And, uh, of course, lots of videos coming up as soon as we know that it's the thing. So, um, well, no new features like I said, but still some bug fixes. Talking of bugs, one that I had on only one of my two machines, not both, um, on my home machine... The one that's on my big screen TV, the start menu, and the action center, and even the Cortana search box, it seems that everything just froze on that part. So basically, <coughs> after some time, it was uh, difficult to, um, or impossible to access any of these features. <coughs> so I had to, if I wanted to go into settings, I'd right click on the uh, start button and then go settings through here or you know if I wanted to sign out I'd go through here it you know after restart it it worked again but I kind of um, calculated that it took about maybe 45 minutes to an hour into the build to uh, suddenly do that but you know it's hard to say because since I don't access the start menu and uh, you know, action center like you know all the time it could be longer and I don't know but uh, it seemed to be maybe about an hour into the, the using Windows 10 15058 so we'll see if it's fixed in this build or not um, it's not something that is fixed when you look at the log of fixed items but uh, maybe it's just a glitch that is disappeared now uh, we know that there's a lot of things of task manager and of, um, of the file explorer and all of that that were kind of crashing a little bit so maybe it's all related to that uh, apart from that, uh, of course, like I said, back with the watermark. So, of course, this is not yet. Uh, a lot of you are asking me, you know, is this the, the thing? Is that, should I download? No, you should wait. And you, if you don't never use Insider Previews, you should never download this uh, because it, you know, can crash and it can have problems. Um, it's, it's not something you should do. It's you just wait like everybody else to the official release and uh, wait until it's your turn um, to get it through a Windows update. So they fixed a few issues in here, uh, fixed issues resulting in the settings icon appearing plating in the taskbar. Uh, so it apparently resulted in another issue now fixed. So if the settings had been pinned to the start, the tile would become grayed out, uh, fixed. Issues resulting in third-party IMEs not showing up in settings. Fixed issues with Microsoft Edge, where quickly typing and deleting characters into a web search box 
might, um, while using MS uh, Pinion IME, might result in the IME becoming stuck. What else do we have? Surface Pro devices can now upgrade without having to remove SD memory card. Fixed issues where taskhost.exe might crash after pressing tab while quickly typing in Universal Windows Platform Apps sign fields. Fixed issues for insiders where a crash of Microsoft Edge um, might actually have you fail to launch Edge again. They fixed the, finally fixed the issue for dev mode and F12 that crashes Edge and uh, so that's pretty cool. There are known issues once again in this one, um, and a, a quite you know a, a, a nice little list. So that's also something that's telling us this is not officially the release candidate. Um, you'll be able unable to download new additional language packs on the build. If you have some installed, they'll work, but you won't be able to actually download any um, additional language packs. Um, if your PC appears to hang during reboot, power your PC off and back on and then the install process will continue if uh, you get an error, uh, basically. So uh, if uh, your PC fails to install this build, just you know force it off and then turn it on again and the install process should work. Some insiders reported errors that some updates were canceled. So they're, um, they're trying to... Um, find it out they're, they still have kind of no, no idea why it's happening in the windows update so they're trying to recreate these errors and trying to have it again happen um they've also ha have a little fix that if it happens you can actually try deleting a registry key that's there there's some apps and games that may crash due to misconfiguration of advertising id there's a bug where you need to restart your pc due to a pending update um, you might actually need to go and check the Windows Update to see the restart button. It won't actually pop it up. And finally, certain hardware configs may cause a broadcast live or the beam stuff in the game bar to flash green, but you're broadcasting and it has no other effect. Also, if you are on Windows 10 32 bits, uh, they do say that this build is not available yet for Windows 10 home 32 bit flavor uh, and also no. Polish and Brazilian builds available. So apart from that, nothing I can say. I know I've been using it. Uh, I used it all evening yesterday. Uh, I used it um, pretty much all morning today. No crashes, no problems. On this machine, the Pro version, I've had no issues. But then again, I had no issues on the last build, uh, even with that freezing of the um, kind of the the taskbar and everything. And uh, so, you know, no issues at all. Once again, you know, we're getting real close to what is going to be official release. So uh, hang in there. We should have that next week, probably. Um, I wouldn't be surprised we get only one build now, and that's going to be the thing next week. But then again, Microsoft can surprise us in many ways. So uh, another very solid build um, for me and uh, works great. I'll continue, of course, using it. If any other things that pop up or interesting things I want to talk about happen, and uh, hey, what uh, what do you think of this build? If you uh, are installing the fast ring builds, um, any issues? Anything wrong? Check it out, and um, I think that uh, we're you know heading into a pretty good moment with these uh, creators update builds. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, hope you enjoy our videos, and thank you so much for following us, and please uh, give us your feedback, it's always fun to have your feedback on the channel.